and welcome back to another video! Hello and welcome back to another video. So, um, we sort of decided to make Saturday basically Pokemon Day um, for the channel um, just because I'm probably not always going to have an episode of uh, Pokemon Platinum pre-recorded pre so it's just like why don't we mix it up, you know, like um, just like do any like random Pokemon themed video for Saturdays. Um, and the other day I, I did a list of what Pokemon from Generation 1 I thought would and wouldn't be in Sword and Shield. So now we're going to do the same thing for Generation 2. But not only that, but we have a special guest this time. And it is the same person we always have, Max. Hello. So he's going to give his opinion on whether or not these Pokemon are going to be in uh, Sword and Shield. So let's get started, shall we? The starters are probably going to be in there, let's be honest. Um, I don't think uh, Senshret or Furret will be, even though I do like Furret, I don't think it'll be in there. No. Hoot Hoot and Noctowl. Uh, okay. And uh, did you know Ash's Noctowl, Noctowl was shiny? That's a very good yeah, anyway. fact. Yeah, I know. Ladybird and Lady Anne, there's literally no reason for them to be in it. Spinarak and Ariados. Now that's kind of interesting because they did get buffed in Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, getting a few nice little move, new moves to add to their arsenal, but it never really managed to pull them out of obscurity. Once they did get a uh, exclusive move, and an ex yeah, none of that was enough to pull them out of its obscurity. So I think they're not going to be in it. Crobat will probably be in it because of Zubat. Uh, Chinchow and Lantern. Uh, already, been confirmed. already been confirmed. Pichu, well, is Pikachu, so we can we can presume that. Cleffa and Igglybuff. Cleffa, I see going in because I do. Yeah. 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 I I think I said the same thing in the Gen One one with their fully evolved forms. Togepi and Togetic I want in there because I want Togekiss and Togekiss with Serene Grace is just so much fun to power flinch with. Sorry, what was he saying? Yay! Natu and Zatu. While I think Natu is adorable, I don't think he'll be in there. No, it's not useful enough. Nah. Marie, no, because we have Wooloo. We don't need another Yeah. We already have a Sheepmon. Wooloo is better than Marie in every single way. But not Ampharos. How dare you. Wooloo is best sheep. <laughs> um, Wooloo is best sheep. <laughs> Wooloo best, come on. Anyway. Wooloo is becoming a very big contender to becoming my new favourite Pokemon. Yeah, oh, imagine if it got styles like Fairfru. Exactly, it would knock Fairfru off to the top. Yeah, it's like... Back off, mate! Ha ha ha! Anyway, Blossom! Uh, it, uh, is, uh, is Oddish confirmed or not? No. No. We don't really... Is, is, uh, is Odd, I know Oddish is based off like a real life thing. Is that like common in England? I don't know. Oh, but it could be a reference back to um, how England imports most of its food. And Oddish is based off a edible plant. No, Oddish is based off a mandrake. Aren't mandrakes edible? No. Oh, I thought they were. No. Oh, well, they're used in potions, so I thought they were edible. Just because they're using... Um, what's the word? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm not a chef. So, Maril and Azumarill. I, I think they will be in it because... Um, also, I'm just going to remove Belossum quickly. Because I don't think... I don't know if others will be in it. So, um, Maril and Azumarill. I think they'll be in it because England's got a lot of water. And, you know, the power water type. And there's not a lot of theories. 
So I think they'll make it in because water and theory, you know, theory is not too common type and so they want to, as much representation for that as possible. And um, there's just a lot of water in England. I don't think pseudo root. Oh, do, what do you think about uh, a Mal and Azuma being in? Uh, they could be, but I highly doubt it. Yeah. I'm going to get rid of pseudo Rudo. Polyto can burn in hell for the weather wars. Hop Hip, Skip Bloom, and Jump Luff can go. Pardon? Yeah, but uh, what it did in the Weather Wars was just unforgivable. It's like the unforgivable curses from Harry Potter. I've forgiven it, to be fair. Anyway, so I'm getting rid of Sudorudo, Politoed, Hip Hop, Skip Loom, and Jump Luff. Yeah, Hop Hip Loom don't need to be in there. Yeah. Apom, I, I want it to be in because I, I do like Ambipom, to be fair. I do, I do like Ambipom. Yeah. Sunken and Sunflora can go away. They're, they're, they're not that bad, as well, unless you talk about competitively, but design wise, they're not that bad. But I really just don't think they have any use at all. No, but thank you. I like Yanma. Yanma can stay. Wooper can say, stay because it's just so fucking happy. Like, it's always happy. Apart from that one time with it, where for some reason, why did Gen Five make Wooper cry? I don't think it was Gen Five. I think it was, wasn't it? I remember Wooper crying in Generation Five. No, I don't think I think it was a Gen Three card. Gen Three? I, I could have sworn it was Gen Five. Anyway, um, uh, uh, that's not really matter right now. Wooper's just the happiest little guy ever. It needs to be in the game because everybody need, should be a Wooper. Just happy all the time. I know, Sad Wooper was a Gen 2 card. Really? It was one of the last sets in Gen 2. Huh. Uh, well, wasn't, wasn't there a time in Generation 5 where Wooper was, did cry? Like, I could remember something like that. No, I don't think so. I don't know. Uh, Mare Crow. I know you don't like it, but it does evolve into Honch Crow. And Honch Crow is quite cool. And crows are quite common in England. Yeah, and crows are quite common in England, so I think they'll be in. I mean, we've got Corbin, but you know. Yeah, but I think that I think that they're gonna put Mirko in just because. Also, they're gonna run every light prankster, feather dance, and all that fun stuff, just to wind you up. Um, Slow King. I think Slowbro and Slowpoke will be in it, so pro pro probably Slowking along with them. Mm. Mistrevious, I want because it evolves into M Miss Magius, and um, they didn't really get a time to shine um, because of, because they came, Miss Magius came out in Generation Four, and it just got overshadowed by the Power Creep in Generation Five, so it never really got a chance because of Generation to really show what it can do because of Generation Five. All known can go away. Can stay in the ruins of Al forever. Wild wow, Prophet's been confirmed as well as why not. And I'm happy. Giraffery can go. Pain? Yeah. Yeah. Um Pineco and Fortress. I think they should stay because um they have a unique dual typing apart from Scizor. And uh, they are quite good at setting up. Yeah. Dunsparce. Well, I do like Dunsparce, and if Villasify ever sees this video, he's not going to be happy, but I think he should go. Villasify really likes Dunsparce. Um, Gligar. It evolves into Gliscor. Unique typing. Gliscor is quite good and really annoying if you ever go up against it, especially with Poison Heal. And unique typing until Landorus, Therian, and Incarnate came around. So Gligar can stay. Steelix can stay. Because we've... I think Steelix confirmed, isn't it? Yes. Because it's one of the uh, Max Ray bosses. 
Yeah. Well, I would like to see Snubble and Granbull return. I don't think they will. Quillfish will probably go. Because we're no we don't really have that many Pufferfish around here. Is there a Starfish Pokemon? Star yeah, I think they'll be in. England, like, if you go to the beach in, Eng beach in England in the right season, you'll find, like, a starfish all along the shore in some places. Yeah, in some places, not all of them. I'm just saying. Shuckle can go and Scizor can stay. Uh, Heracross can stay because we, we do... Do, uh, do we have a lot of bugs? Hmm. Do we have a lot of bugs? Uh, kind of. Yeah. Mind you, mind you, would Heracross really make sense in England? Pardon? Would Heracross make sense in England? I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut half of it out, just like, maybe it will, will, maybe it won't, we don't know. We're, we're kind of on the fence with that one. Now, I think Sneasel and Weavile should be in it, because one, there's very little d ice types. Two, there is there are actually icy mountains in England. And three, I like them. Mm. Also, Weavile is one of the few OU ice types. The only other OU ice type is a legendary Pokemon. Sure. Teddy Ursa and Ursa Ring. Now that's curious because... Ursaring with guts is somewhat decent, but bears don't really make sense in America. I mean England, they make sense in America. True. Unless you're talking about Banjo-Kazooie, so they can go. Mm. The best characters I'll ever come to Smash Bros. Mm. Slugma and Magcago. Wouldn't really make sense because we don't ha really have volcano. I think we actually have a desert. Probably I think, somewhere. yeah, I think there's a desert in England, but there's no volcanoes. Uh, well, there are dormant volcanoes, but I don't think they would survive in dormant volcanoes, so they can go. Snubble, Pyloswine, and uh, um, of course, uh, Mamoswine can stay because again, we do actually have icy mountains, so they would reside there. Corsola can go because we don't really have any coral reefs around here. Too cold for them to survive. Ooh, Remoraid and Octillery I think should stay because England, a lot, we, especially here in Cleethorpes, a lot of the money that uh, uh, Cleethorpes used to get came from fishing until we joined the EU and the, the, then they imposed fishing laws. Yeah. So they can stay. Deli Bird can go. Because, oh, I accidentally clicked copy instead of cut. Um, Daddy Bird can go. Mantine can was confirmed as well as Mantike. Scamaray. Well, there's no real reason for it to be in England. I want it to be in because I do like Scamaray, and it's one of the best evasion counters out there. Mm. Houndoom and ha Houndor and Houndoom should go because there's no real reason for them to be in England. King Kingdra can stay. Oh, what about Pan Fanfi and Don Fan? Fanfi is bleeding adorable. Uh, but they were they were all right, but they never really shone. They never they were never really good. No. Oh, hang on. Did you what did you say about Mantine? Uh, Mantine is confirmed. Yeah, I was gonna say. I didn't quite hear what you said about Mantine. Yeah. Either. So Fanfi can go along with Donphan because we don't really have elephants and uh, they were never really that good even though I love Fanfi. Polygon 2 can stay because I want Polygon Z and Polygon Z is a really good special attacker. Stadler can go and I don't know about Smeagol, a painting monkey. We, we well, England does have a history of art, so I guess Miggle can stay. Tyrogue and Hitmontop can go. 
Smooch him can go. Elect Kid and Magmi can stay. Milk Tank can stay. Blissey can stay. Ooh, I, again, the same thing with Raikou, Entei, and Suicune. Either all of them will uh, stay or all of them will go. But it wouldn't surprise me if they all went. Mm. Uh, Thailand Attacks confirmed. Ho Ho and Lugia. And maybe Lugia because again it's a tie to the sea and you know will Britannia Britannia rules the waves. Yeah. But I don't really see any reason for Ho -O to be in it. Mm. So I'll put half on Ho -O because if Lugia's in there's a chance that Ho -O, Ho -O could be um version exclusive at, alongside Lugia or something. Celebi can Day because the England that uh, used to be just like one giant swamp. Yeah. Basically, so I guess. So that's what Pokemon we thought think will be in Generation Two, uh, uh, Gen Two Pokemon that will be in Sword and Shield. And I have to admit, we did not. I did not cut out as many Pokemon from Generation Two as I did from Generation One because, um, in here there's just like massive chunks of areas where I just took out Pokemon, but in here, there's not really massive chunks of areas where I've taken out Pokemon. Because, uh, the thing is, a lot of them are, uh, I either got Generation 4 evolutions, or are pre-evolutions uh, to exist in Pokemon from Generation 1, um, or, uh, or something like that. So, yeah. I'll, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit that like button, comment down below what you thought of this video, and uh, if you want to see more of my stupid face, don't forget to hit that uh, subscribe and uh, ring and ding uh, that uh, notification bell. Otherwise, YouTube won't uh, notify you of when I'm uploading videos for some unknown reason. And I'll see you guys in the next video.